Okay, I'm so bored. How long has it been? God. You said that it was only a couple of hours until you get to the next city. Maybe we should have stayed in the other one with those people who tried to kill us. I would have loved to murder them again. Well, some of the newer ones have decided to join the group. <laughs> Killer, please. I don't know. It shouldn't take this long. I don't exactly have a phone or watch on me. If I did, I would have told you how long it is. But sadly, I don't. Plus, the path is getting thinner. Maybe I must have took the wrong turn. You can't have taken the wrong turn! I looked at the signs, and it's definitely this way to the next city. Oh, really? How long ago was that, though? That's what I thought. Ugh, we're lost. Again! Not the first time we're ever lost. And it's the first time you're talking to yourself. I'm not basically talking to myself! You're in my head, and you're an actual living being living inside my mind, and literally trying to drive me crazy while you take control when something happens and kill people, and I have to wake up in the middle of blood, guts, and bodies everywhere. And then I have to run away from people who try to capture me. Ain't a fun experience! Okay, is your throat okay? Oh my god, shut up, killer. Honestly, you're so... Uh, I don't know what to say right now. Okay, relax. You can't be that lost. Killer, we're not on the path anymore. Well, fudge. Oh, you're not deciding to swear anymore? I mean, I would. But, eh, I'm not in a swearing mood today. <sighs> I guess we can carry on without the path. Just looking back, there isn't anything behind this. Man, why do you have to distract me like this? Now we're lost. Hey, there's a couple of lights up ahead. Huh? Oh yeah! It looks like a mansion. But it also looks abandoned and old. The lights looks like electricity. But the way the building is, doesn't look like it should have any electricity inside. That's true. Maybe someone is building in there? Nah, that place seems like it cannot be built upon. Maybe. But why in the middle of the forest? Maybe one of those private properties for the rich? Could be. Hey, there's possibly a sofa in there. Or maybe a comfy bed. We're choosing the sofa. I'm not trusting any beds. But we've been sleeping on hard ground that's so cold and wet sometimes. Even my clothes get dirty from that. Eh, couch just seems more comfortable for me. Uh, Alright. Yeah, it looks like there is a couch in there. Might as well just sleep on it, I guess. Exactly. Good night, Kay. Sweet dreams. And hopefully you don't wake up with tons of bodies around you again. Good night, killer, and I hope not. Or else what? What do you gotta do? Kill me? <laughs> that counts as you killing yourself. Uh, yeah, ch ch shut up. Just go to sleep. <laughs> hey guys, Clerics is here. Hopefully you enjoyed that little voice acting at the start. I didn't use a voice changer for this one because I was using two characters. So anyways, let's get this started, shall we? K and Killer are my creepypasta OC. So if you don't know what creepypasta is, then have you heard of Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, Ice Jack, so on and so forth. They... My character, my OC belongs into their world. That's what my OC is for. This OC. Exactly. So, Kay and Killer, I have drawn them separately in this video, 
but they actually live in the exact same body. So the only way to tell which is which of who's taking control is by the colors they are wearing. So K wears a blue t-shirt and blue gloves. As for Killer, she wears a blood red shirt and gloves. Yes, they both wear the same clothing, but the only thing that changes is their eyes and their gloves and t-shirt. That's the only thing that changes from them. But of course, Killer, which is the monster of both of them, Killer has an ability which involves a purple energy that she controls and she can shift it into anything she wants. So let's say that she wants to kill somebody with a hammer, a sledgehammer, or like a Harley Quinn hammer. Or she wants to shield herself so she makes herself a shield or a piece of armor. And of course it's hard to kill them due to an ability where killer can heal over time with the purple energy surrounding a wound that they must have encountered something big that managed to scratch them. So I nearly forgot because I was about to render this video that they're not a really overpowered person or crew pass I would say because like I said in my Overwatch one that I don't want to make the characters OP so I tried to limit to them. So with Killer and K, I think the only way to get them down is either by knocking Killer or K out. If you knock Killer out, K can access some abilities that Killer has uh, that could help K defend herself. Now, uh, that would be like some speed and some armor that she can use and some healing abilities. Nothing that's aggressive because that is killer's choice of weapons. So I kind of did forgot to add that. And of course with killer, if you knock out K, killer will be the same. It's just K would just be knocked out. And when they come round, it depends on who comes round and who was hit or knocked out first. And of course, if you knock both of them out, then they're fully knocked out. So, um, yeah, I kind of forgot to add that, but um, luckily I have added it now. So, my creepast OC isn't very developed, but I think I might keep it that way. I want to probably now make it where when they're younger, their memories are jumbled up. So I'm going to say the things that they do remember. Kay was born into a family that didn't really like her due to being born with one different color eye. And that indicates Killer. Cause Killer was also born with K, hence why they are the same age and live in the same body. That's why their age don't differ after they switch places. Anyways. So K was hated due to that because if anyone looks into her left eye, which is covered, they will be glaring straight into Killer's eyes. Now when Killer was younger, she didn't have much strength to take control over their body and try to start the process of making K crazy, which is why she was there in the first place. But then she has to suffer through seeing K being bullied so much and not feeling any type of care or love and all that stuff that triggers killer because she thought that humans always care for each other but she of course thinks otherwise so over the years killer has looked over at k and her situation Despite everything, K did used to have a name that begins with a K. Anyways, the first time that K ever heard Killer was due to their dreams that they sleep. And that's the only way that Killer could contact 2K, but K was a young, bright person. She knew more when she was young and was aware of things that she thought that this was not real, that Killer isn't real, and she was an, an idiot. But one day, 
they remember, well, Killer remember her first few kills. So Killer, well, I mean K. K was in her school, young school, and she was getting picked on again, and she was getting frustrated and all that stuff. And a couple of the kids were flirting with her, hence why Killer always gets triggered when someone flirts with her. And it was the first thing that Killer responded that triggers her off. So basically, Killer managed to get out of her shell and started to rip these kids apart. Yes, very gruesome. So that's her first kills. And now Killer knows how to get out of her own mind to take control to protect Kay. And hence why their relationship built upon that. She also killed Kay's family due to their ab abandonment of her. And now Kay and Killer has to live a life where they're homeless, sleeping on the ground, trying to scavenge for food, find places to be safe, and Killer protecting Kay from people who think that could get away from such a weak girl who is actually a total monster. Hence why they always travel around to different towns, to cities, to villages, just to get away from people that are bad. So the voice acting at the start does indicate their relationship and of course what they've been through and so on so fo forth. Bleh. So after they hit their teens they actually manage to separate some of their memories or combine their memories. So basically when they hit the teens they can remember everything that they did when they're a teenager which hence they still are so they're trying to get used to the whole memory thing. So that's the only thing that they could combine with is through each of their memories and what they've been through and they basically try to work together to survive and try to live possibly more of a happy life even though they have different preferences. So the whole creepypasta thing, uh, I've seen like some people do have like um, stories where Santa Man and the other creepypastas are all in a mansion so with the voice acting I kind of like make it where K and Killer actually end up towards the mansion like the Santa Man's mansion and ended up being there so but I wouldn't say that in her Conan um, story that um, is it Conan or Canon? I think it's Canon in her Canon story she wouldn't really bump into them unless uh, she goes against them like if let's say Jeff the Killer tries to kill Kay and uh, Jeff the Killer realized that she wasn't human and killer nearly killing him or he managed gets away or did some damage to her so on so forth so her story can basically go any direction depending on who she bumps into but for this voice acting I kind of made it where she has ended up towards the mansion and anything could happen there but anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys do like um, K slash Killer. Uh, she was kind of like one of my first OCs, but I know she's not a definite first OC. Uh, but hopefully you guys do enjoy her character, their character and their story and their abilities, well mainly Killer's ability and the way they are. Um, if you are a creepypasta, creepypasta fan, I hope you did enjoy this. And if you're not, um, sorry. I know this one was kind of gruesome because I did mention like deaths and all that stuff, but that's the whole creepypasta thing. Really, it's all around like being killed or something scary and spooky sort of thing. But um, yeah, that was, K slash killer my group pass to OC. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down below if you want to, and subscribe today for more stuff like this. If you want to, not forcing you or demanding it. Uh, but if you did though, hit that bell button right there because you never know, I might have already started doing another OC drawing video. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Killer XOC is out for now. Enjoy the rest of this video and hopefully you like the results. Go sing out.
confused will make me sober One flame to take the pain away I call you lighting matches in the back room Haters look mad when they pass you Let's talk about round when it's past two Raise a glass to no You don't gotta fight alone
Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this awesome channel. If you don't, I will murder you. Killer? What?